Hi, welcome to Berlin Bistro. My name is Alexa, I'm the general manager of this restaurant. Our current operating hours are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wednesday through Sunday. We offer brunch, we offer coffee, cocktails, beer, wine, and pastries, and friendly service. We would like to invite you to help us celebrate our 10 year anniversary here in downtown Long Beach and our brand new menu with our new chef Rob who I'd like to introduce to you right now. All right, so today um, I'm gonna do a short demonstration on how to make some herb uh, sea salt. Uh, it's something easy that you can do with your children or um, other family members, just like around the table. All you need is herbs, and it could be any herb. Um, today I have some chervil that's fresh, it's pretty nice. And I have some parsley. It's just the two that I chose for today. But um, you can just buy some parsley on the vine and, and bring your kids around the table and pick herbs. And then after it's all picked, you just need a nice sea salt. What I have here is some um, fleur de sal, the top of the layer of sea salt. It's really, uh, it's coarse. So when you're all done picking, what you need is roughly three cups of herbs to one cup of sea salt. And after they're all picked, you just want to place them on your cutting board. And you need a sharp knife. Like when you're dealing with herbs, um, you don't want to run over the herbs too much. And you want to cut them in small batches uh, for safety and so that you you know what you're doing. You know that you're getting a nice cut. The more you go over the herbs, especially something green and delicate. So I do the herbs, I give them a nice once over and I get really nice thin strips, or at least I try to. And then you line it up again. Really take your time bunching it up and stacking it. And then you're gonna give it another cut. So that pile is, is pretty nice. That's like where I want it. And then I'm just gonna go over this pile. You can make the piles as big or as small as you want. It's really for your safety. So you don't wanna do a pile that's too big to where you are running the risk of losing a finger. Okay, so now we have it like in a pretty nice fine mince. Um, a few stragglers that are a little bit too big. But what you want is for the herbs to have a really small size that is similar to your coarse sea salt. So the coarser your sea salt, the coarser the herbs that you're gonna cut. And so now I have a mixing bowl and I'm just going to scoop it in. And also, if, if you do have the machinery at home, you have a food processor, this could be even easier with that. Like you could just take your herbs, whichever ones you choose to have, Like I said, like parsley is great. Dill works fine, cilantro works fine. Anything you have. And so I just take the sea salt and I put it in. This is a small amount just for right now. So you just need to keep that ratio of three to one. Three parts your mince serve and then one part your sea salt. And then after that, use a spatula in your mixing bowl. And you're just gonna give it a nice mix. You're not being too hard on the herbs. You're just 
giving them a nice rub to the herbs have a natural moisture in them and you're just mixing that with the binding that to the salt so that they become one. This is also like a perfect use for um, if you have extra herbs. You buy herbs at the supermarket, but they only come in one pound increments and you have a lot left over. This is a perfect way to save the herbs. And it's just a mix. You gotta take your time with it. And so now you have a nice green mix. They've congealed and became one for now and forever. And the practical use for these things, uh, you can use it to give any kind of food uh, just a little bit of a burst of herbaceousness. Um, I like to sprinkle it onto a soup or a stew or rub it onto a nice roast just to make it a little bit more umptuous. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a practical application of the herb salt. Uh, I'm gonna prepare the avocado toast that we actually sell uh, here at Berlin. And I have a really nice um, California avocado here. So cut it in half without cutting yourself. Use a spoon to scoop it out. And then just make thin-ish slices. So that's ready. I have a nice um, slice of a uh, sourdough type bread. Any bread works that you have at home. This is a beet tahini sauce that we make here by smoking beets and blending it with tahini and some aromatic spices. So I'm just gonna take a nice dollop of this and put it right onto the bread. Smooth it around. You actually need some more. You want a good lather on there. Now we're gonna take this avocado, split it in half and fan it out. And you just wanna put it right smack dab in the center of the piece of toast that you have. After that, I add a little bit of these uh, pickled beets. I just put a couple strips on here. And that's just for a nice pop of acidity. And now I add a, this is a seed mixture of sesame seeds, sunflower seeds that are toasted and I just sprinkle some of this on top for a nice crunchy mouth feel. You can really go heavy with it, actually. Now comes time for the herb salt. So just sprinkle some on here, and that's just gonna give you like a salty pop of uh, flavor crystals. I'm actually gonna finish this with the chervils, and I just like to cover the whole thing, you know? After that, I just like a nice squeeze of lemon just for freshness. Thank you again for joining us today for this demonstration of an herb sea salt by our new chef. We'd like to welcome you for breakfast, lunch, or brunch. Any day, Wednesday through Sunday, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., our patio is open, our indoors are open. We have coffee, pastries, breakfast, lunch, and brunch. Anytime you like, come on down. We'd like to see you.